I combat loneliness by going for a walk in my local park. So I've been avoiding loneliness by walking my dog, um, going on a lot of walks, going on one-on-one -on -one walks with friends when I can, and yeah, just trying to stay generally active. I think that's the best thing to do in these times. My top tip for combating loneliness is spending time outside with your pet, Louis. So my tip for combating loneliness is to watch one of your favourite TV shows, but one where you feel quite connected to the characters and almost like you're part of their gang. With team sports being cancelled, and that's what I usually do for exercise, I've decided to take up yoga and I do it on YouTube with Yoga with Adrienne. There's so many different 30 day challenges and every time you do it, there's always someone doing yoga at the same time as you, so it's a big community of people. If I had to say what got me through lockdown, it would be the Sidemen and the Vamps. Hey, what's up? My name is James McVeigh and I play guitar in a band called The Vamps. Now, my tip for combating loneliness is getting out and walking around your local area and just saying good morning to people. Sometimes, you know, a smile or a hello to someone that you don't know um, gives you a really nice feeling. Hello! My top tip to combat loneliness is to go for a walk every morning. I love to go out for a walk, keep my mind occupied, say good morning and hello to different people, or even put my earphones in and listen to a podcast. Uh, my number one tip is to reach out to people and uh, when you do have the option of being with friends or family, do what you can to live in the moment and enjoy that time with them. What has helped me keep connected during this lockdown would have to be going out for lots of walks, doing lots of yoga and also focusing on small things that I appreciate rather than worrying about the bigger picture. To stay busy and meet new people at the moment, I have found new volunteering opportunities. For me, that has been starting to tutor online with an education charity, which has been a really great way to meet other volunteers and develop a skill. One thing that I do to keep myself happy and to combat loneliness is I do a lot of craft, especially through the lockdowns. I've learned new skills and techniques of things to do. So yeah, that keeps me busy and helps to keep my mind occupied. Moving to a new city was made all the more difficult because of lockdown and I struggled to find a social network. However, I got involved in various initiatives to meet like-minded people. I enjoy being creative and I find that staying connected to family and friends, even virtually, helped a lot too. To improve my well-being during these times, I like to dance. Hi, my name's Amy and I combat loneliness through online hit classes and yoga classes. I've met so many friends through it and I find it helps relieve stress and any anxieties that I'm having. One of my favourite ways to stay connected with my friends and family is to go out and watch the sunset. There's something really nice about knowing that no matter where we are in the world, we're all looking at the same sun and it just makes us feel more connected. Have virtual meetups. Take time to talk. Sharing how you feel is really important. Have a, a movie or a games night and also do online exercise together. This is the best way to stay connected with your loved ones. My tip for coping with loneliness is to start an online book club. My number one tip for lockdown is to play some games with your friends. When I'm feeling lonely, I like talking to my plant. How are you doing, buddy? If I'm ever feeling lonely, I'll always reach out to an old friend that I haven't spoken to in a while for a massive catch up and a laugh or I'll take the dog out, get some fresh air, and then come back for cuddles on the sofa. You could call or text someone that you have been thinking of, but you were too scared to call and text and see what happens. So one of my favorite things to do to feel connected to like friends and family and stuff is to write them letters. And I mean, it's always nice receiving posts and then it's just, it's, it's something different than just Zooming or Skyping or texting and it's, it's just, it's, it's nice, I love it. Something that helps me stay connected to my family is creating a collaborative playlist together. It's really nice knowing that we're all listening to the same songs and those songs remind us of good times together. I come back learning this by calling my friends and my family uh, basically every day um, and also going out on my own little date um, and buying myself flowers and getting some coffee and yeah to stay connected during these difficult times i make sure i facetime my family and friends once a week to check in i come back loneliness during lockdown by playing video games with my friends i come back loneliness by spending time with my co-workers hey Ed. <laughs>